joking right now. No, 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 I'm not joking. Does she get the key? She should have the keys. Text her. It, it's, it is locked. It is locked. I heard the, the click. I thought it, it, it wouldn't lock, but... Welcome back. We are starting this vlog somewhere that we really want to come back to. You guys want us to come back to. We got Explorer and Harley with us today. And we got Chels. What's up? It's a little bit windy. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to go inside. Could try and fly the drones in a bit, but it, yeah, yeah, it's getting windy. But uh, yo, we are continuing our episode. So this episode is going to be back to back with our previous one. Then we got a special treat, a new location afterwards on that. So uh, this is our arrival. So I kind of thought I'd bring you guys along and show you another reason why this place could be so active. And it's truly amazing. And, you know, I kind of missed out last time explaining to you guys that some of you guys might have actually noticed. First time here. So yeah. I'll be discovering this place tonight. Yeah, it's his first time. So and, uh, <laughs> just gonna take a pop. Oh, they're out of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's so That's cool. That's cool, man. Fresh up with seven. I remember one yeah. of our um put a quarter and open the door and pull your yeah. your pop out. Is it what like this part? Yeah, yeah. It's oh yeah. All right. So right now we are pretty much getting ready for the investigation and playing with my toys. You'll never believe what just happened to. So what? I'm walking down this hallway. Here, I'll show them. I'm walking down this hallway and I was opening up all of the jail cell doors and I get to the bottom, the second last one, and I'm opening it and then I see a shadow figure of a man just standing right where they would what? drop the bodies. Yeah. So then I was like... Wait, you, you saw a man? Yes, yeah, just a straight up shadow man. No face, nothing, just a black silhouette of a shadow man just standing there. And then I just said, nope, nope, nope. And I just started walking back. And no way. Jeff went and Jeff went down there. And then it was super cold. Where Jeff it was, was super standing. cold at the bottom, at the far end. It was super oh cold. Oh my God. I started asking questions and it's like, can you knock? Nothing happened. Really? He said, oh, okay, that one's not scared. How, go how going to, how <laughs> are we going to size this guy up? You saw the shadow figure from up there, right? Yeah, I was outside talking with uh, Bill, uh, Lauren Charles, and uh, I saw a shadow figure right, right came like out of this corner. So now we're getting a money shot. We call it an uncovering shot, and I'm covering the cells like that. Yeah, it looks nice, man. There we go. But then he's got to focus on. Last time, I did not get a chance to really show you guys the other reason why we think this could be so active now bill natasha's husband actually collects movie props oddities stuff like chelsea and i like literally this guy is like <laughs> i think this he's from a movie right yeah, he, that guy, yeah. some sort of movie yeah. but it's not only the movie props that are you know active he's got real skulls of real people upstairs he's got real human body parts and just collects all of this stuff like even the victorian or even do you think these are georgian mm, i don't know i think those are victorian yeah like just all of these old oddities yeah and these guys are from 1930 something you got the scooby-doo monsters clay thing i guess they were trying to make the uh this guy's hand right there that monster on the top corner that was the molding from the movie. Martin DeVos, if you're watching, you're probably recognizing some work in there that you could do the same. Yeah. <laughs> Get your shot, man. Yeah, I got one shot. I'm doing one from uh, for safety, like we say. <laughs> there are so many varieties of oddities in here. And like, you got OJ Simpson stuff in front of our eyes right now. I don't think I've ever showed this on camera. Um, but, yo, know, like, they collect so much. I like, got a tintype there. See that? It's like a tintype. Mm-hmm. I wonder who that is. It's me. 
too. And he's got like moldings from different types of movies. And there's even more in this room too, which we'll get into at one point. But yeah, which one was the new one? Um, the big guy. No, it was this one, I, I believe. That one was there last time. Because that's a woman. Mm -hmm. Yo, look at that. And that one has no lower jaw, the one next to it. And then this one is a shrunken head, a real shrunken head. This one right here? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but... <sighs> Natasha was saying that they preserve it kind of the same way they preserve a pickle. Yeah, they kind of just... Mm -hmm. And then yeah. in here you have someone's ashes from 1882. Um, then this is a block, a cane. Um, femur bone. Femur bone, and I might be wrong, but I think it had something to do with the Holocaust. Yeah, I remember her, but like, I, just I imagine don't, though. I don't know for sure. Yeah, right, it's one of the, something like that. Mm -hmm. But like, just imagine, like, yes, you got the two boys that were hung by one rope here, and the mother, and all the other people who were, you know, executed here, but just imagine, you know, the other types of energy that are here, mm -hmm. you know, and it plays a big part. I didn't show this last time, but there's also a grave marker in there. I think that right is there. the wall behind it, huh? Yeah, and then there's like a little mini coffin there. There's some wet specimens behind there, you can see. Yeah, oh, um, <gasps> look at that dog. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my god, I never noticed that one. That one's really cool. No, mm -mm. I don't think I have two. That's really cool, and these ones. Oh. Whoa. That's very cool. Oh, look at the book of diseases. <gasps> That's cool. Damn. We have one of those. What? Oh, yeah, the relic cards? Yeah. And these ones, too? I remember a while back, Bill gave us one of these. These are from the Saw movies. Yeah, one of the, the first time we came here. It's right? literally, I don't know if you guys have caught this in our live streams, but we got the real prop from the Saw movies in our... Wow. You have two props. Two props. And like these are literally from the movie. You can see them in the movie. They're all authentic. And then in here. And you got this room over here. Props. Yeah. So that bench was actually used. Um, someone would lay in it, and I think he was brought. Someone was like brought here. Yeah, they used to put dead people in there. And this was from where? Jerusalem or something? Originally from Jerusalem, I think. Yeah. It's old. It's like. It's like dated. Pre eighteen hundreds. Yo, bro, this was from Jerusalem, huh? Jerusalem? Yeah, they yeah. used to um, transport dead bodies in there. Whoa. Yeah, straight from Jerusalem to here. Whoa. Dude. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> like you just never know, man. And if you were to come here, you got like so much it stuff to happens. look at. It's like just an experience and a half. Like all of these are all vintage. These are all movie props. Yeah. That's from the Saw movie. What's that? A whole album of just old photos. Oh my god. Old and even like the, the energies on these photos could still be like lingering. Like baby here. This one's look at the dog. And look at the baby on that one. Oh. Wow. Like, they, she looks off. Like, I don't know if she's alive. I don't know. It's now, every it's, photo we look at from back then feels like they're dead. I know. Just the you way know? that their facial expressions. Because they were doing it back then. That's yeah. why we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Over the past few days, we've been taking a lot of looks at old photos, even our apartment. Jeff actually brought it up, saying that the photo in our place, the That's ladies cool looked dead. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. King, King Edward. Edward. For a second, I thought that was his hand, and I said, "Holy yeah. moly!" King Edward. Hand. The plumes on the wow. hand. Oh. King Edward the Seventh. The sisters. Wow. Oh, this guy looks like he's angry, man. They're dead. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Oh wow. They're so little. <gasps> Aren't they cute? Yeah, they're like little tiny ones, huh? And then there's an old postcard, an old house in here. This is a homestead. To Jesse and Laura. Working, wishing. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from, from James, James William Ro Holmes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
That's crazy. So just imagine with all of this stuff, the props go on all through the jail. Like just imagine the energy, the, you know, people that could possibly be attached oh, to these things. I just... Look at this too. <laughs> and then like, look at Holy this. smokes, man. That nun also has this is an old some sort of energy zone it too. What year? Uh, it would have been, I'm guessing, 1870 uh, something. I don't know, that looks a little. Maybe 1890. They all have blank pages. Where would it say it? Front, probably, the next page. 1857? Wow. But Printed like, and look published how in 1857. Like, that's such good condition. Wow. It's a holy Bible. This is new. This wasn't here last time. Yeah, he's, this he's, was not here last week. <laughs> constant new, new, additions. new additions and everything. Oh, okay. Check Order. this out. This is the most realistic yeah. thing I've ever seen in my life. This is supposed to be a movie prop that they got. And they don't know what movie it's from, but maybe you guys can help us out. You guys ready for this? Look at this dude. I've never personally seen him in any sort of movie, but... Look how real his face is. Like he even has like the after shaves, like the after, what is that the called? Five the five o'clock shadow. shadow. Yeah. He has pores, like he has eyebrows. He's got pores and everything. Like he's, he's got, his like, skin hair. is soft. Like he if has... I pointed the camera like this, it kind of looks like a he... real dude. My buddy Marks does props exactly like that. Yeah, because we were on the set with He right? has yeah, a realistic. good skincare routine. Like he has nice skin. <laughs> he's got a nice skincare routine. <laughs> Except wow. they didn't match his foundation well to his body. Direct liquidation. Scientist hero. Let me see. Let me take a hey, picture well, of a... him and see if I can find him through Google. Wow, that's crazy, man. Like, look. I wonder what movie was. They, like, put him up. Mm -hmm. The gurney is from Saw. Yeah, that's from the oh, Saw yeah. movie. Oh, yeah. Cool. What are other Bibles? Oh, oh my Bibles. God. Yeah. I think about a year ago, this gurney was downstairs, okay. which is legitimately from the Saw movie. Like that is so cool. Like to see that in the movie and to have it like right here. Yeah, Motherland Fort Salem. Oh. Oh. That's it's about that cool. witchy thing yeah, on yeah. Uh, one of the platforms. What are these? Oh, yeah. Yo, this too is from the Saw movie. Rest. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I want one of these stools so bad. Like yeah. the NBA jail. Oh. That is cool, man. Street Fighter 2. Oh. No. This, yeah, those are these Japanese are from the games, Japanese yeah. games with the little gold balls that are super loud. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the pinball yeah, edition. Yeah, Japanese yeah. right there. These are more of the sculptures with the heads and stuff. So yeah, those are molds. What what, is, um, what movie did she say it was? There's a bunch of them. It was Beaver. What does that say? Beaver. Oh, that one's from, from the Revenant. Beaver Revenant, yeah. There's one from Twilight. These um, are from Twilight, I think, huh? No, that one right there is... Twilight Zone. Yeah, Twilight Zone. Um, Lost in Space, Big Sheep. Um, it's a bunch of them. These are all moldings, yeah. They're really cool. Did you find out what movie that guy's from? Nope. Doesn't this come up? Nope. No results found, it says. Yeah, so we just finished taking our cinematics and now we are basically getting some food. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna bring you guys along with us and we'll hang out for the night and we can go shopping downstairs with the um, other props and stuff. Oh yeah. Like this is gel, so this is the original color, right? Eh? It was all green. Yeah, the green. Oh yeah, what the Oh so, yeah. This is the this one they found in the bottom of the restaurant. And the names are scratched out in the age. So back in the day they used to do that. Um if like Someone was obviously mad or had something against this person. And then uh, usually once that happens, they would replace the tombstone. So they think this was um, the one before it got replaced, but it's all scratched out. Yeah, beloved wife of somebody. Maybe like a mistress or something. Yeah, who departed this life April 8th, 1870. But it's weird. They scratched out the name and then the age. Like. Yeah, you could tell they like... Well, they like took their oh, time yeah. and like, I can't even, it's S. 
Yeah, no, there's no way. I can't read And then it. the bottom it says, I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Likeness? Likeness, yeah. This is three. There's somebody scratched the hell out of that. Three. Looks like a zero, 30. Because you see the Y, the A, three. You see the outline of the three? Yeah. We got probably like the zero. This could have been a one, three. Well, aged, you... that's the D. Yeah. Aged. Oh, aged. Three. Yeah, 30 something. Yeah. yeah. 30 something. Which would make sense because it's the wife of someone. Yeah. Samuel Carter. Samuel. 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 How did you read that so easily? I was sitting here staring <laughs> at it. Samuel Carter, who departed this I, I see Samuel Carter. Carter. I can see it now too, that you say it, yeah. Samuel something Carter. Yeah. And In memory of Mary this. J. Yeah. It's the hands for the monster and yeah, I showed them that. Oh, that's very cool. Now you saw, now you've seen it twice. <laughs> okay. Oh, the infamous hallway the of end of the corridor. Random stuff. Yeah, we're sleeping in these ones right now. Jeff's got. Oh, you switch rooms? No, I'm switching. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm old. I have old bones. I need my. You heat. gotta be warm. <laughs> this one too is where that trickster spirit plays, man. Those are all real markings from and the inmates. Those are yeah. Those are. Uh, these are real inmate markings, man. Yep. Yeah. Liquor in front, poker in the rear. Walker, dir dirty talker. Faster, pussycat, kill, kill. Yeah, Liquor there's all around. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah, look at the cross. Each, Each time, time I make my mother cry, an angel dies and falls from heaven. Yeah, the stuff that... <laughs> the stuff that went down here, man, is... You know... And in this corner... Oh, yeah. Here, you have the dental light from Saw. Yeah, that's from Saw. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. Actually, let me get a video of that. It's a yeah, dental light, really cool. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Dental wow. light. That tray pulls out. Look at that, too. The monsters the up there. The monsters. Keep your light just like that for me. And then, you have right there, is also from the Saw. Oh, yeah. Forensic analysis. And that's original art. So, I was going to say, this is for anybody who comes here and this goes yeah. for absolutely anybody there's a chalkboard behind me right now and i've written space. my name oh. somewhere on the board hey. if you guys can find oh, my name that. you guys will win a free hoodie on me uh -oh. so if you guys come here and spot my name take a photo dm me or email me and you guys will win a free hoodie of your choice and i'll ship it out to you did you find it no I dropped the chalk in our chips. You dropped the chalk in the chips? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, I don't see it. Well, just be mindful when you're putting your hand the in chalk's there. Chalk's right there. No, 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 no. no that's another one. Uh, how did you drop the right chalk there. in the chips? Well, it was right there, and I had to grab the chalk, and then it fell in the bag of chips. It was an honest mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Oh, Jeff man. Also, I thought a lot of people point out that this guy was a ghost and he was in the background and you guys were seeing him. That is not a ghost. That's a dummy. It's literally a dummy. It's not a ghost. Um, yo, Jeff. Yeah. What, what kind of... This would have been World War or something, huh? Oh. 1940. World War II? Yeah, it's 1940. Yeah, the Second World War. Yeah, so this guy's not a ghost, for those of you guys who have been wondering. But uh, yeah, this place is like legitimately so cool. And if you come in here, Natasha will give you a tour, tell you all the history, all the stuff that's been going down here, ghostly stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I think I just saw a shadow. <laughs> that was so weird. Hey, you guys know what to do. If you guys can find one of my names on this board, if you guys come here, you guys will win a free sweater on a, of your choice. I will ship it out to you. Yeah, you have to face it. Let's get back to basics. I'm going to take the shot like it's a vaccination. I don't have the patience. I'm going to shoot right now. Yeah, we undefeated. You're going to lose right now. Like click, 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 swish. I can switch it up anytime like this. I'm a videographer and I'm on the verse. So 
it when I shoot my shot. I don't miss. Don't gonna take the shot. Take the shot. All right, everybody, so it is now bright and early in the morning. We are ready to pack up, and right now we're just kind of packing up, but we are about to go and pretty much try and figure out where those, these boys are buried. So, yeah, it's been a crazy night. Like, we're literally just waking up. Natasha just brought us coffee right now, so I need some Java before I wake up. But, uh, yeah, crazy night. It was... Beyond, like, I, I think I actually came in contact with the boys. Jeff, <laughs> listen to this. So Jeff, last night, we wrapped up in death row where we were kind of like trying to reach out to Arthur and uh, Daniel. And Jeff, he's he turned his camera off. And for some reason, paranormal activity always happens when we cut the camera. So funny enough, we're coming out, we're ready to switch locations and, you know, do Estes and whatever. And the sun... The big sign that you guys see of Arthur and her mom and the executioner literally fell over. And at that time, Jeff was like, I think someone slammed one of the cells because it sounded like that. I was right there. And turns out this morning, I go up to death row because I do a lap and I kind of like take in the threshold because that's what I do. I like to be in threshold. So this is a dream. Um, but I go up and the poster is legitimately on the ground. Yeah, it was crazy because we were in contact with somebody and like all through the whole night, it was just constant communication. Even our live stream scared the crap out of me. Like I was shivering just talking about all that stuff. So yeah, we're waking up right now and ready to continue our day. It's raining. We're going back to Picto to grab interviews from Scotsman in that which we did and just so much happened last night. I did a solo challenge in the dark side, which is literally right there. And I came in contact with the boys and I figured out that what if people from the town, because obviously they're all dead right now. Well, what if people from the town passed away, found the boys, hated what they did. They weren't a big fan of them and they're preventing them for getting any sort of closure or for us, for alive people to go and, you know, find out where they're buried. Right, because a lot of the people, a lot of the locals, a lot of the visitors actually come for the boys, right? So they're like, why are these boys getting so much attention still? So that's kind of like my, you know, theory on what's happening right now. They want help. They want people to know, like, where they are. They're innocent. They're, like, they were masterminded by their ma, right? So that was just where my personal opinion went. And I came in contact with them, like, straight up. And they were like, we need help. It's us. Um, they never found my body, mind blowing stuff. And my battery on my back, I had the GoPro strapped to my back. During that moment, it did this weird beep. And I'm like, what the hell was that? Turn around, spirit talker says battery. Next thing you know, the battery sign is on the, the camera saying like, you need to change your battery. So it was so accurate. It was so accurate, it was so cool. That was probably the coolest night of my life. And um, if you guys, don't know. Jeff's gonna have a different ending. So I didn't do Estes this run. He's the one that did Estes. I did my solo challenge and all that stuff. So go and check out his side of things. I lost it. What did you lose? Five seconds right here. So when we first got here, Bill and I were chatting about like. So Bill and I are very similar with our collecting Oddities, styles. I guess. Very <laughs> similar. We're both like fangirling outside. Um, but both of us are very into like the funeral stuff and collecting things like that. So he actually gave me a handle that was on a coffin. <gasps> coffin handle. That was yeah. on one of the coffins of a real person? <clears throat> yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if it was ever like used. It could have or just been probably it's like a, 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 a or... coffin, like a surplus from a coffin shop. Yeah, exactly. even though yeah, yeah. It, it is, it was designed to go in a coffin. Yeah, yeah. it's so vintage. It might not have yeah. been used, but it's still, pretty cool and it's very... beautiful. The, uh, the details on, on it. It's it's incredible how uh, our intention there are to details even on on coffins. Mm -hmm. I know, right? They will go on the ground and rot, and they, they will even stick something really beautiful like that. On I know. They do all the carvings and the engravings too. That was probably all by hand, if anything, right? Yeah, they're probably the jabbing at that with like a little stick or a knife. Chisel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're doing all of the little indents. Yeah, this is gonna go in my little collection of stuff at home. So. Yeah, that is so cool. And that kind of plays into with like all the stuff here. Like I was saying earlier in this vlog, the stuff that Bill collects and Natasha collects are like some of them are real humans, which could actually stir up a lot of the stuff. All the names we got last night probably could be, you know, carried over from all these objects. Oh man, this place never 
freaking disappoints. Hey yo, I forgot to mention, Jeff got stuck in a cell last night. I didn't explain this, but we were doing an intro on the dark side, which a lot of those cells, once they're closed, they do not lock. And if you can't unlock them, it takes forever. Natasha spent three weeks one time trying to open a door. Yeah, so Jeff's doing his intro. And all of a sudden, we're like, we shouldn't really close this door because he was doing a very interesting intro in one of the cells, which you guys will see. And we're like, okay, we'll do another take, you know? And we're like doing the fancy like door closing thing. And yeah, the second take, it locked. So he was stuck in there. We had to get Natasha out. And it was kind of like a really interesting but scary moment for all of us. I was like, I go up to Natasha and we're like, Yo, Jeff's locked in a cell. On the dark side, she's like, oh my God, I, I don't think I can open those doors. Tonight, guys, I'll be spending the night in jail. I think I'm locked. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. What? No, really? Charles. Yes. You're joking right now. No, 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 I'm not joking. Does she get the key? No, no, it's luck. She should have the keys. Text her. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I did not think this? I pushed it that hard. <laughs> oh. I know she does say she has the keys because I know the other one down there, she locks and stuff. Uh, you'll have to relax because... Okay, it, it's, it is locked, it is locked. I heard the, the click. I thought it, it, it wouldn't lock, but... What'd she say, Omar? I thought, um, she's coming down with the thing. With the keys? Yeah. Okay. She says she's gonna go look for them and see if, uh... Pass me that light so she has some light. Oh yeah. Just take it off the... Oh, he's in the green one, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Mother trucker. I'm going to try my best to get you out, friend. Oh, no. Big keys don't always like to work in here. I, I locked it so it, 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 it just like squeezed, 
Well, I think that push was a little bit too hard when I heard the stoom. Uh oh. <laughs> not going there anymore. <laughs> Shoot is done, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was it got real. Recorded. That was recorded, man. It got real. Uh, yeah, he was Did he do the intro? No, but... No. No, I didn't mind him. I said, do it, this is your well, stuff. You already got your... your well, your I wallet. just got that... <laughs> <laughs> stupidity done. Get <laughs> that out of the way, right? <laughs> well, stupid stuff, check. <laughs> You're gonna have to put that in the video and just like mention that, throw that footage back up on the screen. Oh, yeah, they got stuck moments ago. <laughs> Set the mood, you know. <laughs> By doing a kick ass intro for you guys, hear what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do to make you guys content. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh it's incredible, in incredible to how come, how far of. We can freaking sometimes put ourselves. Yeah. yeah. It's it's so the and I I didn't thought of it because I I like this one so this one won't budge so it will just like stop. <laughs> Stronger than you are. <laughs> just trying to look in there and see if like. I could stick something in and Try pick it. Pick the lock. Yeah. Pick. But yeah, <laughs> these <luck>. things, man. <laughs> yeah, not so much. What do the yeah. keys look like? Oh wow. Oh yeah, they're massive. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah it cost us uh, five thousand dollars to replace three keys if we ever miss them. <gasps> That's why I throw the big yeah. can. <laughs> because we did accidentally misplace a set of keys in the goat trailer when we had the goats here. Ah, uh, hey, I, I was, I, my heart was pounding. Has there ever been a time where like a spirit closed someone in? Um, not that I'm aware of. It could have happened and, but yeah, I've never had somebody like call me, come get me out because they locked me in and it was just okay. like, oh, my friend was an idiot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that French Canadian guy is an idiot. <laughs> I was a little worried for you for a minute there, man. I was I not going to lie. I was too when you said he was down in the dark side. Like, death row, I know that's going to open no problem. But these ones down here, yeah, they, they weren't opened as frequently. And so yeah, they yeah. so on and bit. off. Like this thing right here. Yeah. Hey, I shackled myself. I, yeah. I, I freaking <laughs> locked myself in. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hold my yards. Yeah, the, the pair of shackles uh, upstairs, oh, like in yeah. the next common room. I, I <laughs> put them yeah, on and I had them around. Do you have real shackles out yeah, there? Back in the day, yeah. 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 yeah they were hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, the 1800s people were a lot smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, because I put them around my, my ankles and they were like, oh. I'm surprised you got them in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm small. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm glad everything turned out and we could actually film this night because low-key my heart was pounding and I'm like we're gonna be spending the entire night trying to get this man out of the cell so yeah that was an interesting what the hell was that I swear God I just saw somebody hello okay that was where I just saw like someone standing, like just straight up standing. Okay. Oh my God, everybody. It is raining like really bad. I got water all up in here. Had the windows down for a little bit. It was torrential downpour for like a few seconds, like really bad, but I wanted to kind of update you guys on what's happening now. So the Tantalon fires from what everyone was talking about. Um, it is tamed. It is under control, but it's not fully out. And I personally am not a fan of rain. I never was. I just truly freaking hate it. It's not fun at all. But today, I think I'm actually happy it's raining and I could sacrifice a bunch of rainy days if it means the fires went out. So look at this. I wish all of this water right there could go that way because the fires are that way shell burn is still happening so i think it's tamed and under control now 
but I'm not 100% sure, but. And I mean, we spent the weekend in Picto, then went down to Dorchester, New Brunswick. We missed a few days in the city, but as soon as we got back, I'm pretty sure we got a partial evacuation still, so. Yeah, stuff's still going down. People are still evacuating. And I just went to Tantalon itself. They had the roads blocked off pretty heavily. They had Halifax Transit there. They had a police unit there. They had just the whole road blocked off. Well, that was fun. Aki and I went all the way up to Upper Tantalon to go and try and see this forest and try and film it for you guys, but it's a no-go. So, yeah, so long story short, I'm just chilling here waiting for Charles to get off work and I'm with Key. Key, you wanna say hi? What are you doing back there? What are you doing back there? You want to be out in the rain, huh? You don't want to be out in that. That is, that is crazy. How do you want to be in the rain right now? She's been wanting to get out and I truly have been letting her out nonstop and she still wants to get out. But the thing is, she smells like a wet dog after it. I'm not down for that right now. So unfortunately, we're not with Jeff anymore. He actually had to leave at about 6... I think he left around 6.30ish. And he wanted to get a head start because he had a 10-hour drive. And once he's home, he was hopping on a live stream with Spotted Ghost, which is the maker of Spirit Talkers. So he's going to kind of explain everything. And Jeff really wanted to kind of talk to him. So he's gone. And it's now just Chelsea and I again. So... Um, I wanted to kind of mention one thing. We spent the week in Dorchester and we spent the day in Picto, which was so cool. We got so much. I, I can't even exaggerate this. We got so much unexplainable stuff happen. I don't even know where to start. I think at this point, I'm gonna have to draw Scotsman Inn, which a lot of you guys have probably have never seen before, but we went to a haunted inn, and I'm gonna have to put that one next and do Dorchester last, because at Dorchester, we got like seriously the most amazing freaking evidence. I think we found where the boys are, so I wanna kinda save that for, you know, the next, not next premiere, but the premiere after that. And it was, like, I can't even explain to you guys, like, like what went down. I have to just show you the footage. Like, I, my mind is blowing up right now. I'm like getting intense because I just want to edit it, but I got so much to do. Oh man, it's crazy. So, God damn key. Why do I have to be such a paranormal outing? Huh? You want to answer that? You want to answer that? Your daddy's a paranormal addict, okay? <laughs> he ain't never gonna stop, baby. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to post that Friday or Saturday, or our next premiere Friday or Saturday. I know it's pushed back a while, and you guys haven't seen the main channel in a bit, but I really wanna make this good. I really want to, like I got so much content. We did interviews with people. I got a lot of content, and I just want you guys to know that it might actually be Friday or Saturday, or worse comes to worse, it might be Monday, but it's gonna be a banger. And I swear, you will not wanna leave your screens. Like this is, like I am tensing up right now, see that? I don't even know what that is, but it's just my energy. I just wanna like, like you know what I mean? Like I. I just want to show you guys right now. Look at that. I don't even know what that is. And I, I, uh, God damn key. Your dad is such a paranormal mother. And I truly think we found where the boys are laying. I'm just going to stop right there. I'm, I'm going to end this vlog off right now because I, I can't contain myself. I, I, I just want to get that out to you. I'm not going to explain anything else because I just can't. I just have to show you guys with the footage so i gotta enjoy this rain for the next few days the next sunny day or something the next non-rainy days like next week so yeah this is gonna be fun but as long as it takes out the fires i'm i'm truly happy fingers crossed still need all of your prayers for the people that have lost their homes and still can't go home and it's still all blocked off down there so i'm praying we need your love we need your prayers we need your everything so yeah just like always i'm gonna kick it make sure to leave a like on your way in or out of this video it helps the channel a lot and I don't know if you guys know that, but it helps a lot. So make sure you hit that and hit it if you like these premieres and want to see more premieres. I don't know if everybody's catching on that these premieres are happening, but they're happening. So yeah, like always, I'm out. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you guys in the next daily adventure. Peace and love.